Hi guys. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, wait, I did something wrong. Hi! Okay, I'm sorry you guys that I missed um, last Thursday's live. I took a little bit of a break, but I'm back. How did you guys like last night? Not last night's, how'd you guys like tonight's episode? Um, and uh, getting to see all of us in our days off. How's everyone doing out there in the uh, out there in the world during quarantine? I hope everyone is in good health and happy and not going completely insane during these times. Um, but please submit your questions about tonight's episode or about anything that you want to ask. Um, I might have some guests on later to FaceTime, but no one's here with me today. But um, you love tonight's episode, amazing! And my on vacation, having a complete nervous breakdown. But I'm with. Um, Karina, who Maya seems to really be in love with, um, and I'm enjoying playing that. Hi. Hi, Shonda Lynn. What's up? <laughs> um, it's always so weird to do lives by myself. It's much nicer when I have somebody who can kind of counteract um, the fact that I'm kind of just staring at my face on a screen. Um, but you guys, please <laughs> submit your um, questions. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um... Or, or update me on what you're doing during quarantine, or uh, provide any insight. Let me know how you felt about the episode. I thought Oak and Gray and Barrett taking care of the baby was absolutely hilarious. Um, I thought it was a beautiful storyline with Miguel and Jaina and Boris and, and uh, having them um, fight for the, uh, the workers in the kitchen. Um, I loved getting to shoot an episode where we actually got to go somewhere outside of Seattle, uh, in the show world, at least me and, uh, Stefania were really jonesing to try to get us to actually do an episode, like a whole standalone episode in Italy, but we didn't win that, <laughs> that, uh, we tried though. We definitely tried. Um, okay. I see some questions here. Uh, hi. Okay. How do I feel about Andy and Sullivan? I love it. I think that as long as everyone's happy and in love, I love it. I think that's all that matters. Um, yes. Does everyone see this question? Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, I did, you guys, I changed my hair, I if you hadn't noticed, you know, it's just a slight change, I chopped it off and I dyed it, um, dark brown. It's actually, like, it was darker, it's starting to fade, but, um, and it's growing quite, quite fast, but, um, you don't want to need more tissues, you're going to need more tissues, next week's episode is going to be a tearjerker for sure. Uh, hmm. oh, I did the wrong thing. It Press. There's so many buttons here, guys. Okay. You guys, tell me what you're doing during quarantine, too. I want to know so I can take some ideas and, and use them as well. Does anyone do anything unique or something I can copy? <laughs> Cooking anything special? Um, I don't... Okay, guys. I'm going to have... Oh, wait. Okay, I think I got it. You guys, special guest. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> you figured it out! I did! I'm like, oh, like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so technologically not savvy. <laughs> Look at that. Maddie's like, do you want me to call her? Can I call her? I think she's got it. I walked her through a little bit of it. How are you doing? I'm good. I feel like I haven't seen you in so long with I this know. quarantine. It's been forever. You didn't even get to see my... I know you look so good. I love the hair. <laughs> it's, I, it's weird. I loved it at first. Now I'm kind of like, ah. Um, no, it I'm looks like, great. You like it? Okay. I, yeah, I love it. You, you can always go blonde. You can always change the color. It's gonna, I, can any, everybody hear us right now? Everyone can hear us. Everyone okay, great. <laughs> Can you like see the little scrolling on the side of like people saying stuff? You see that, right? See, 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 I'm crying. Hearts. 
Hello, ladies. Okay, so you see that part of it. I, uh, <laughs> There's a button on my side, too, where I can, like, pull up questions, but I don't think you can see that side of it. But if anyone, like, posts a question, she I'll, says from uh, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Yes. from Chile. Guess what Sorry. I'm doing during um, quarantine. What are you doing? I'm learning Italian. <gasps> okay, what have you learned so far? Not much. <laughs> Come on. I did, like, the first, like, week, which was, like, um... I learned like all like the basics, like colors, numbers, like random stuff, like bed and and uh, manja. Manja is good. Yeah, manja. Very useful. <laughs> Le Lego, legano, nuoto. Yeah. <laughs> Words like that. So anyway, I love I, it. Yes, swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I figured though, I was like, okay, during hiatus, I'll learn as much as I can, and so when we come back, I'll amazing, actually, I'll amazing, have a amazing. With you. Uh, yeah, because we can't communicate with each other right now. No, any other way. Well, at least I can feel like I can talk to you in your, like, your first language. I feel like you're always having to talk to me, and I'm like, I, I know nothing. That. I Even know. when is it, what's the one thing you're always, you always say is kiss me. How do you say it again? Bacha me. What is it? Bacha me. Bacha me? Yes. I love it. Everybody, that's what she's, she improvs that all the time. I do. And I noticed that thing. I said that a lot. I always tell you that. I love it, though. It's like that one scene where we completely improv like, was it last week's episode, I think, where you uh, said it, and I was like, oh, is that Kiss Me? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I love that they kept it, actually. That was so me cute. Too. Very nice. Me too. How did you feel about tonight's episode? I loved it. <laughs> You're such a badass. Oh my god, that pool scene was so much fun. It was so amazing. Is there anything, any insight or like stuff that happened behind the scenes that you can remember that you'd want to add or tell the fans about? I remember that it was freezing when we got there and it took a long time to warm up. And it's so odd because in LA it's always hot, but it was super, 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 super cold. Well, it was December and it, yes. It's always that way too. It's like you shoot the hot bathing suit scenes. Always, in, exactly. It's cold. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, what else? What do you remember from that day? <laughs> I just remember like running around that the Roosevelt Hotel. I in remember a robe. Um, what? In a robe. In a robe. <laughs> I remember running to Starbucks because I was craving. Like, I remember that. that. You, you know? were craving something weird, like a peppermint something, you know? That's what it was. <laughs> I was craving a peppermint because it was the holidays, so they were selling like the peppermint latte, and I was I craving it. I remember that. But then I, I went to two that. Starbucks right around the hotel, and neither one of them had it. So I ended up having to get something different. I, yeah. Oh, and Todd. Todd was so good. The guy yes, who played Todd. He it was, was amazing. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He plays such a great, like, douchebag. And I hate saying that, but he was yeah. so good. So good. The Ola Como Estas was very funny. Okay, what, what did they say? The okay. Ola Como Estas was so funny. The oh. bad Spanish. It was amazing. Did it perfectly. Okay, so let's see. This is like, do you see these questions when they pop up? Ah, okay, 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 okay. So you can, I'll send you questions. You just answer them however you want. Okay, no, we both do, though. Okay. okay. What, what was your favorite? Oh, oh, say hi to okay. Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Sorry, what was your favorite scene to shoot in this episode? I mean, I guess we had a couple. It was a good, we had a good amount of episodes. This, or the scenes. Oh, the scenes, yeah. That yeah. was a good, uh, ooh, ha. Ooh, ha, ha. I think I think the pool maybe, with the push-ups and stuff. Yeah. No. What about yeah. You? Sorry, I was reading questions. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that one was definitely the most fun. Yeah, because the panic scene, I was like, ugh, that was driving me crazy. Yeah. So yeah, probably the I pool scene was that. so much fun. Yeah. And with, you... with Todd was so much fun, so I'd agree with you on that one. Okay. 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 Um, are Maya and Karina officially dating? Are we? I mean, <laughs> in America, it works that you guys have the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an Italian thing? No, we're very full on. Like, we're dating and we're dating. I feel like since how things are going, for, for me, as an Italian, we're dating officially. So you just, does someone just make, like, the assumption, like, okay, we've gone on so many dates, are we done, like, we just were dating? I mean, if we're going on holiday together, what would yeah, you I agree. think? <laughs> the holiday part, for sure. Yeah, made it official. But do you feel there is, like, a significant difference between, like, dating in Italy and dating in America? Yes. Okay. 
you guys are very cool and like yeah i'm cool oh. and like playing safe we're like i love you you're everything to me let's get married now <laughs> and we'll be dating for an hour and a half <laughs> like, does that does that also mean like you fall in love a lot but then you get your heart broken a lot is that like something that happens yeah kind of addicted to drama a little bit is that like the italian way a little bit i kind of love that though i would I love to too. be like more vulnerable and like fall in love more easy easily more easily you like, can I love that you can do that not when you're raised like that like i feel like you're right there is like a fair right. like, shield you kind of put up yeah that's awesome anyways maybe you can <laughs> you, you could you're supposed to teach me these things so <laughs> you know it. Okay. you know it all um have you ever been to canada uh yeah whereabouts did you go in canada vancouver montreal and toronto Oh, all the main ones. Yeah, and I loved all three of them. Uh, did you have a favorite? Uh, of the three? I actually went whale watching off of Mon Mon Montreal. Montreal. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it was amazing. It was beautiful. And I loved it, the fact that they spoke French. And, Do you as know well French? As English. No, I'm studying it, though. Oh! Is that yeah. like the next language? That's the one I was going to learn first, but I was like, I figured because of you i was like i'm gonna learn italian first you have to thank I you thank to. you i'm, I'm studying obligated. french yeah kind of i uh, love they were like stone? no i'm doing can we say things like this i'm doing this thing called um Pimsler. you listen to it for half an hour and i want to do portuguese next Ooh, i like portuguese yes i wonder why <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is the next question is, what have you been doing in quarantine? Huh, what have you been doing in quarantine? What about, I did like a whole like disconnect thing and like self medit like I was self reflecting and meditating and reading books and like watching nice. like films that I hadn't, that I've been wanting to see but hadn't. Like nice. Movies. Yeah, so I did that. Beautiful, that sounds great. Yeah, and I'm learning Italian, so it's been good. A what lot. about you? Um, I'm actually doing a lot of house stuff. I have paint everywhere, like all the time, and I have paint brushes and and crazy projects and redoing things. So I'm doing that kind of stuff, which yeah, is fun. Awesome. Are you doing all the painting yourself right now? Yeah, I go outside in the sun, like I'm painting doors and windows. So I go outside in the yard and in the sun, and I strip paint and I do crazy things. And the neighbor and listen to a loud Italian music, so the neighbors now all know me. <laughs> But it's very therapeutic. I like I, it. <laughs> I love that so much that you're like blasting your Italian music. Yeah. <laughs> someone, oh. someone asked, what did you do in Montreal? I was just traveling. It was a, mm. yeah, a trip with friends. And um, yeah, I went to visit the place and I was just traveling to travel. I love that. Did you fly in or drive? I drove from New York all the way up. Is that when you were living in New York? No, it was, wow, so many questions. You're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, no, no, I was living in Italy, actually. I didn't even speak English. So I was like, hello, my name is Stefania. Can I have a cup of Did coffee? You, <laughs> was it that, like, were you, was your English? Because you had lived in London like, before. Lived before. London, before. London. Yeah. 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 That's where I learned English. So I used to be like, what, what are you talking about? Make whatever. This was my accent when I first learned English. <laughs> I desperately want you to play a British role just so that you can put that. I cannot. It was not believable. <laughs> but it is to some extent. Like, you're an Italian that went to London, so therefore you have that accent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when I was when I was in Montreal, uh, like a long time ago, it was about 15 years ago, and so I didn't. I was going from Italy, and I didn't speak any English at the time. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Have I you ever gone to? Known you then? Oh my god! I I I have people that met me then that write to me now and they're like, I can't believe you're acting in English right now because it used to be like, hello, uh, the cat is upstairs, <laughs> and they were like, what? <laughs> and especially, there's no. Is there any relation like to Italian words and French words? I'm assuming no. Like there are similarities. Actually, there's a lot of Sicilian because. I, I have we have a dialect every region in Italy has a different dialect and Sicilian okay. dialect has some similar words to the French language okay they're all like uh, romantic languages so 
there is. That's good to know because I've realized while learning Italian how similar it is to Spanish. Yes, and it messes you up. Unless one of them is your native language, if you start learning Spanish and then you go to Italian, then you're screwed. Great, so I'm going to get, well, it, seems, to one. it feels like I'd rather learn the Italian and just have all the people I know that speak Spanish understand try to some understand. of it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like at least it's like a middle ground <laughs> nice I think that's a good choice um you got how much do you like being on station 19 Stefania a lot so much it's so much fun <laughs> everybody's nice yes do you get asked this all the time at this point I do get asked that a lot but I feel like it's it, it, it's an easy answer it's mm. it's been amazing everybody's so welcoming and so sweet and I just felt home from the first minute that I was there with you guys at the table read and with you oh my god I remember everybody kind of stopped at the the first table read read. (laughs) I remember like for anyone listening right now you just like the whole it felt like a weird like we did our scene and it just got quiet and everyone stared at us so quiet the chemistry was insane between us we had literally just met yeah and it was like boom, boom, boom. what was the first scene to- oh it was the bar scene it was it we're was, like it you're was. trying to flirt with me and i'm like no and you and we like oh yep yep it was it was so good yeah it's fun that was fun i won't forget that <laughs> um you've got this one uh stefania lots of family back in italy and are they okay my whole family is back in Italy. I'm the only one here in in the United States. And thankfully, so far, my family is good. Good. Yeah. They are in Sicily and they're home. They've been home for a month now. And we've been FaceTiming now more than ever before. But thankfully, sorry, my hair. It is paint hair. Paint. <laughs> <laughs> I do but... this on Instagram Live all the time. I'll play with my hair like 12 million times. It's never right. It's never good. Never. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully my family is good. Yeah. Thank good. You for and asking. how is their mental state? They're actually okay. I feel like it's easier. It can be easier or harder, but I feel like it's, there are like four of them, my brother with his wife and his kids and my sister with her husband and his kids. And they have a good living space. They, they can go to their rooms, but they're also happy together when when they want to hang out with somebody in me and company. So I feel like it's harder for people to live on their own. Live on their own or live in like very tiny spaces. I would Exactly. Say. And if you can't go outside and things, but um, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's rough, but I'm glad they're doing yeah. well. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. And I'm kind of glad that you're getting to FaceTime more. I mean, yeah, for very unfortunate reasons, but at the same I time, know. it's good that you get to FaceTime more. Yeah. My niece turned 18 uh, this month, which is a super big deal in the, in Italy. And she had a birthday party planned and everything. And obviously Aww. everything got canceled. So we celebrated on FaceTime. Uh, like, a, like a, I don't know if it was FaceTime. Like a virtual, or, like a virtual like party. A, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did that. I threw a little surprise virtual party for Barrett. I saw that. That was so cute. I was like, we've got to do something because it's hard. I mean, it's like your one special day out of the year and you're like, really? But I can't imagine like turning 18 or like any of the milestone birthdays and being like, oh, okay. She had gone to Milan and got a dress for the (gasps) occasion. Like it was intense. And she was like. (laughs) Is she going to kind of do a redo after, you know, when Um, everything probably probably or i was like just come to the u.s and we celebrate here <gasps> oh that'd be amazing has she been yeah <laughs> has she come? No, no 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 never this be her first time yeah oh that'd be the perfect that'd be the perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. for her like a, I, i'm her godmother so i took her to amsterdam just the two of us when she turns 17 oh man so i feel and, like the traveling yeah. thing it's good <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is is like 18 like the biggest celebration, birthday celebration? Yes, it- because it's when you can start drinking and driving, which is crazy because the two things shouldn't be mm, together. <laughs> <laughs> you can get your driver's license at 18 and you can also legally uh, do everything. You're an adult. I'm so at surprised 18. though that it's drinking and, dr- and I mean, yes, at the same time, yeah. but also, like, <laughs> In America, driving at 16, I figured the drinking age in Italy would be much younger. 
Because no. I feel like all throughout Europe, I feel like it's younger for some reason, or is that just not what? Not no, new? it's 18, I think, for the rest of Europe. It's only in America that really? it's 16. Yeah. Yeah. And drinking at 21 is crazy. I feel like the first time that I came to the US, I was 20, and I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go to <laughs> any bars, nothing. And I remember my grandpa gave me my first sip of wine when I was like, five or six <laughs> well, that's what i'm thinking i'm like i feel like in italy like wine's everywhere like yes, oh yeah wine, for sure drink wine well, for sure for sure <laughs> um that's so well i was i remember i turned 19 i was working in canada and mm -hmm. i turned 19 which is the legal drinking age there oh wow so like i was i was drinking for the entire time that i was in canada <laughs> and then i had to come back to the united states after i was done filming for a year and I was and no I drinking a ever. Whole year. Yeah. I was like, wow. That's so yeah. funny. Weird. So interesting. Weird. Um, okay, wow. let's see what the questions we have. Yeah, the drinking ages and the driving ages are very strange, but it is strange yeah. that Italy's drinking and driving are at the exact same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that. But now that I said it, I was like, ooh, hmm, those two things. <laughs> that that it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said to learn how to juggle during uh laura she said we should learn how to juggle during quarantine i used to ah nice good suggestion i used to do it i used Did to you travel really? a lot yeah yeah stop yeah yeah i went traveling and i like a thailand india and cambodia and vietnam and i had this juggling thing and i used to do that at the beach and uh, that is the most random thing ever random so random but it was like the vibe going on in, what you were just at the at. time that was it i was traveling with the train i had a lot of time on my hands i was like what where was I this train Juggle. um in india i i traveled everywhere everywhere with the train oh my i was oh, on my own in talked india about this no we have it okay so wait go back there was a okay. train in india you took a so i did a job in india and then i fell in love with the place and i ended up staying for three months and traveling all around the country with the train and uh and then i would land somewhere and meet people there and stay there for two three days and then be like okay i'm moving somewhere else now and but i used to spend like an on average 18 to 25 hours on trains non-stop and it was amazing <laughs> this is amazing and i'm so envious of that lifestyle that you <laughs> hop on a train hop off meet people and knowing you too like i'm sure some of the people you've met along the way you still are in touch with now Yes, I am actually. I believe I am. That. It was amazing. Like, yeah. Wait, this question Have you ever been to, to Scotland? Yeah, of course. You have? <gasps> My favorite actor is James McAvoy. His Scottish accent drives me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your love <laughs> for him is amazing. <laughs> it's just like. Because you'll start talking about him if I would have let you keep going just now. I'm sorry I cut you off. I'm Forever. James McAvoy. Your love for him. <laughs> what about you? Have you been to Scotland? I've never been. Oh, it's so good. It's I cold. I want to go so bad. It's cold? It's I don't so care. good. I think the next stop I have to do is, I've been wanting to do Iceland for a while. Amazing. So I think that has to be the next stop. Mm, um, nice. And it's supposed to be, like, one of the best and safest places to travel, like... Iceland is know. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I heard it's cold. The point is saying it's like, I'm not okay. I'm fine with cold places. I, mean, I went to Iceland in November, and it was an actual... It was cold, but it was not crazy. Like, New York, I think, feels oh. colder. Yeah. And you're used to New York. Did you... Um, How many hours of sunlight did you get, though? Was I know another, like, big part of it? It was kind of from 10, 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. So it was a good amount, and there was no other tourists, so everything was very quiet, and there was a lot of... It was nice. There was That's a lot nice of that there were around. less tourists. I wanted to go during that time, and someone talked me out of it because of the hours of sunlight, and then because of the time of year, and I yeah. should have just gone. But the only thing that kind of kept me from going is that I guess it's like the worst time to see whales, and I really wanted to see. Yeah, the... I don't know. I I wanted to see the um, aurora boreale. Yes, but I didn't, and that was the, supposed to be a good time too. Have to you see. been to Alaska? No, never. You can see it in Alaska too. Just so you wow, know. you went and you saw it. I that's when I saw. It. I saw it. In wow. Yeah. But that's if you've never crazy. been to Alaska, you can go to a new place and see it there, and it's okay. Stunning. Just stunning. Done. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> um what's your favorite show to binge watch friends really why is it 
always friends. Why do people? I'm like one of the weird people that just never got into friends. Like I, I love didn't. characters. I just mm. like switches my mind off. I don't think about anything sad when I watch Friends. Do you think about sad things when you watch other things? Ah, uh, if it's uh, like. I'm watching Narcos again ah, yes. to practice the Spanish, and I'm like, really? Jesus, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How dark it is! So dark. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. I'm looking. What at about my... yours? Um, what's my favorite show to binge watch? Mm -hmm. I kind of go on like these kicks, and of course, then I binge watch, which is the definition of binge watching. I think recently. <laughs> I love binge watching so many shows, but I did Electric Dreams recently. Oh, I haven't seen it. Okay. It's an anthology series. So every episode, something different, um, which was amazing. Uh -huh. uh, but then I did The Crown, which okay. the Foy was amazing. I'm trying to think of all the ones I did recently. But like, I missed like Game of Thrones. I would like another Game of Thrones to come back. I could just put. <sighs> I didn't get into it. I watched the first season and appreciate the value of it, but I didn't but catch it. It's not your thing. I don't no. see. I like, I can't veg like for me to like veg out to put something on and to veg out would be like something I've seen a million times, like dirty yeah. dancing or like flash. Oh, dirty <laughs> dancing, biggest <laughs> crash, Patrick Swayze. Oh. <laughs> I'm with you on that thousand percent. <laughs> yep, Patrick Swayze. Oh um, my god, amazing. I was just someone. I just I saw a picture someone posted from Roadhouse. Yes. And I was like, my God, that man. Amazing. So sexy. So sexy. <laughs> um, and her, the blonde dancer. Yeah, Jennifer Grey. No, Jennifer Grey's baby, right? Jennifer Grey's baby. Yeah. Are you talking, which one are you talking about? The, okay, somebody help us. The blonde dancer. We should dancer. know. know because she's amazing. Indoor yeah. dancing. I'm pulling it up. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm pulling it up on my computer right now because we should know the names especially the women's names and every time I don't I get mad at myself and I love her and she's so talented she's like one of the freaking most talented dancers ever what kind of dance um because you're a professional dancer for those that don't know what kind of was, dancing yeah. what kind of dancing was it I mean I don't know if that's a kind of a stupid question but... it was called it's called commercial dancing but you can do like uh, it's it's like anything really I trained in a lot of things I trained in like tap hip-hop jazz does it uh, end up being like a uh, like lyrical, like where it's kind of everything? It's more like hip hop no. based. It's more like commercial based. Oh. Your hair looks so good. You like yeah, it? Is, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is not working. It feels uh. It, okay, is it Cynthia Rhodes? Yes, I think it is. Yes, I think I'm pulling up her. I just saw her name. So Legs Cynthia Rhodes, the days. dancer that we both, the blonde dancer in Dirty Dancing. Yes, yes. I will not forget that. Yeah, she was amazing. <laughs> um, someone said, what are your favorite scenes together? That's always a hard question, but I put it up there. I don't know. I feel what? like they've all been nice. They've all been great. I'm I like the one in the sofa that we did just in the last episode. The All the ones in bed are always fun because it's such a pretty, yeah. like cozy environment. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm like in a weird position. No, you're fine. I think I'm really excited to see... Um, um, it hasn't aired yet, but I know all I'm gonna say is the scene in my in the captain's office. Oh yes, me too. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited. Same, 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 it. same. <laughs> I don't actually know what episode that was. Me neither. Is it the next one? Anyways, anyways, well, but yes, we have a lot of good scenes coming up that I'm very excited for. Yes, yes. Very, um, very. <laughs> someone's at someone at or uh Matt, maria do do she literally sent this question i can't say it marie M marie yeah. <laughs> it's like 20 she went all for it there's like 20 of the same question My Who is the great kisser? <laughs> you have to say yes like you don't even have a chance. you oh my god you're an amazing kisser it's amazing it's so good can you imagine? Thank no, you. She's okay. She's all right. Who? I mean, she, she's fine. I mean, Danielle. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're amazing. No, you have to say I'm amazing, but that's okay. You can say it. It gives me a good. Uh, you know, no, but you are. Well. <laughs> you are. It's so easy. Okay. Do you know things. what TikTok is? 
I do. I don't have it, but I know what it is. Huh. Do I you? I like, I've seen people post stuff about it and I understand it's another social media site, but I really yeah. don't understand it at all. What, what do you do? You just make videos? I haven't really put much effort in discovering what it is, but I know that it exists. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, at this point, have to at least do some research into like what it is exactly, but all I know is people just Boom. post videos. But Maybe I we do a Karina TikTok, uh, Marina TikTok. Yes. I love our ship name, by the way. I like it too. I was like, yes. <laughs> and I like that it's a ship name and Marina and that's boat lingo. I don't know. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. It's cute. Thank you. Thanks for uh, indulging my uh, silliness. <laughs> um, are you sad that you couldn't finish filming Grace? I don't know if you can talk about that. I'm not really sure where that stands. Well, but yeah, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. This doesn't you do I'm out of it because it's on Grace. Who's your favorite coworker? I know these are questions you get all the oh, time. Oh, Grace. Yep. Ooh, I love, I feel like, okay, I love Giacomo because he's oh. great. And he's yes. just so nice that we can catch up when we do scenes together. But I feel like one of my favorite, oh, also, Teddy Altman, I love, and also Bailey. She uh, it always brings so much freshness to the scene, and she's so professional. And she, I feel like everything gets better when she's there. Chandra, she's Chandra so is amazing. Amazing, I agree with you. Yeah, every time she, I've only actually I think been in one scene with her, mm. and you but remember I, it. Yeah. yeah, but even just like watching scenes when I was shadowing directors, I was like, gosh, she brings so much. Yeah, she's um, incredible. Yep. Yeah. Someone said how great is the tour with Stefania. It's amazing. Like, <laughs> one to ten. It's a freaking 15. You can't say I otherwise. <laughs> I love working with you so much. I do too. So much. I got I so too. damn lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I do too. <laughs> this one said winter or summer and why? What's your favorite? What do you prefer, winter or summer? Summer, big time. Oh, my God. Yeah? And yeah. Do you <sighs> prefer winter? Um... Kind of. No. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm getting better at liking summer, but I like, 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 the Maldives changed a lot of, like, my perception of, like, summer, winter. I bet. But I love, like, warm, cuddly clothes, sitting next to a fireplace, like, snowboarding, like, hot cocoa. <laughs> Not Stay having to be, like, all sexy in a bathing suit. What? what? If you have to, if you have to pick a holiday and you have like a beautiful beach place or a ski resort, you go into to a ski resort. That's no good. That's no, no good. <laughs> it's like I love them both for different reasons. I think just like because I love scuba diving, so I think okay. if it's the right place, I don't want to just go to like some beach to go to a beach. Okay. Like if like the Maldives was such a like because we went there, but I went there with knowing I was going to scuba dive like every day and like it was I was on an island and the weather was perfect and it was like a villa on the wall like I don't want to just go to a beach to go to a beach if I had to just okay. choose a beach or something like mountainous and like camping out in the wilderness and like cool weather uh -huh. I would choose that a mountain okay. with like mountains and lakes and cool weather we're gonna have to work on that <laughs> <laughs> is that like a no no see but Stefania you look like the way you look in a bathing suit oh stop all it year round. All everybody's year round. gonna agree with me the Danielle Savre I, I say your name your last name this way just because you say, make it sound so much better um, it, is, it looks yeah. amazing in a bathing suit and everybody's gonna agree with me punto period punto 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 <laughs> see I haven't learned that one yet there I you feel go. like I get nervous when, like, I'm like, oh, I learned all these words, and I'm like, I don't remember. Like, bebe, 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 bebe is the to drink, and bevono, bevono. Like, See, si, bevono is day drink. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning what, like, it's, it's. I haven't gotten very far, Stefania. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, hey, this is good. This is important. Thank you. Thank bebe, you. Bebe, bebe, mangiare. Right. Thank Those you. Are important. There you go. Um, let's see what else we got in here. What do you prefer, reading a book or watching a movie? Uh, it depends on the state of mind. I feel like when I'm on holiday, I prefer reading. And when I'm home working, 
movies are easier. Okay. Yeah. But like Wait. I loved My Brilliant Friend, the trilogy by Elena Ferrante. It was like three, four books. And I read them in one trip. I was obsessed with them. So, but I was on holiday. What subject matter? Like what um, it, it, there is actually also a series on HBO called My Brilliant Friend. And it's about this, the friendship between these two girls uh, in uh, Naples, growing up in Naples mm -hmm. in the 50s. And the, the reality, like how people treated women, how women were perceived is, is very, um, I feel like it's a very realistic portrait of how the era was for women and how I feel like my mom's generation this is how they grew up so it's very sad because it wasn't they didn't treat women very nicely oh it's not also, like, okay. like important yeah so but it's a little bit historical in that regard or is it, I is think it, so okay it's not based on true facts but the 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 reality of that time is portrayed very nicely it worked very well that's beautiful yeah I love that yeah I love what, like, this quarantine has, like, forced me to get to read all these books that I bought. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> amazing. I love that you are, like, are able to get in this space because I feel like it, there is a specific mood that you, ha you have to be super relaxed to sit down and read. Yes. So it's good that you're there. And okay with, because I normally can't. I mean, you know my brain. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it sounds like that inside my head all the time. Like, I'm a chicken <laughs> gobbling or a turkey <laughs> gobbling. Like. I don't believe that. Um, but yeah, so it's nice that like my brain is kind of like, there's nothing I can do right now. Nice. So shut up and read the damn book. Beautiful. Um, Stefani, what made you want to become an actress? Um, I've always had the thing for acting. But I felt like when I was growing up in Italy, it didn't feel like it was a possibility. And also I felt mm -hmm. like the actors that I knew took themselves very seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm an actor. And I didn't like that. Like case, though, too. <laughs> uh, some, yeah. most of them don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then, and I loved performing and so I became a professional dancer. And then once I got to LA, I thought I was going to keep dancing. And then I took an acting class and... I fell in love with it. I was like, oh, this is what I want to do. I feel like it's the right next step for my career. And I loved how actors were so humble and in a way, like willing to play. And it was so easy. It wasn't like... So wait, serious. where did you take this class? In Los Angeles. I started acting in Italy for three years, but it's only, it was only for to do musical theater, to go with the dance and the singing. Oh. And then I, I I picked it up again in Los Angeles. Yeah. What and was the I, class you took? It was like um this guy, random, super random. The, the the first thing he said it was like, "Are you the same around your in laws than you are with around your friends?" And I'm like, "No." Then you're acting when you're with your in laws, and I'm like, "Okay." I was like, <laughs> "So I was like," <laughs> but it was very That's playful. So that was I was like, "Okay." So if you do, you can do it in front of your in-laws. You can do it in front of everyone. It was funny. That's a great way to put it, though. It makes it really <laughs> like, yeah, I guess if I can put on a face in front of certain people. Yeah, it was very positive, very supportive environment. Uh, so I liked it. So sorry, that was a long answer, but no, yeah. I love that no, answer. But also too, it brought the fact that you I, you sang too. Yeah. You do still sing. I do, but I get very emotional when I sing and I start crying. And so it doesn't sound very good after a while. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, that's beautiful. You just start crying. <laughs> so silly, I know. Okay, next time we're together. Next season. We sing. We are going. I'm going to get you to sing. I'll bring a box of tissues, but I'm getting you to sing. <laughs> Deal. Because I want to see this, and I'm sorry if I laugh at you while you sing, or if I start no. just crying. Um, it's okay. But, um, but um, that's amazing. I've never heard that before, and it's awesome. I love it. Um, but I love that that's what made you, so you were already doing it, and then you came to L.A., and then that's when you full-on. How long have you been in L.A. for again? Uh, it's been nine years now. For the first five, I was doing, I was a waitress and doing acting classes and Where were you doing a waitress? Jobs. Um, 
I was a waitress in a place called Speranza. Okay. And then I was a hostess in an Italian restaurant in Beverly Hills full of Sicilians. There was like Which is everybody. It's called Via Loro. Okay. Do you know that I bartended at a restaurant, an Italian restaurant called Tuscanova? No way. Yeah. That was, wow. like, you know, that was where I learned a little Italian, the little Italian I know and like the cuss words I know and all that. I Amazing. The men that like owned it and the chefs and everyone in the cooks. Everybody was that. Italian. Yeah. It was like, hey, Daniel. They would say things like, I had no idea what they were saying. Of course, I wish I was a fly in the wall to understand what they were saying to you. <laughs> I wish you were too, because you could have told me some of the things they were saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's amazing. I always like knowing, like, because we all start off and we all bartender, or waiter, or waitress. Yeah, like, you have somewhere. to. So it's interesting you to find out, to. like, where you might, where that might be. Yeah. Um, Very true. Have I talked your ear off at this point? <laughs> no, please. I think I have. No. My feet have fallen asleep officially. Your feet? Were you yes. sitting on them? Yeah. This one's here. Any advice for people who want to start at pauses this? Hold on, I'm gonna pause it for a second. I got, I got a yeah. from someone that might want to join. Okay. So, we're just you and me, but someone had also texted me that her name in the movie was Penny. Uh, yeah, in the movie was Penny. Yeah, thank you. That was nice. Yeah. nice so nice. Penny was in the movie, but then her real name, what was her real name again? Oh, God, we're bad. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Cynthia Rhodes. Yes, yeah, Cynthia, Rhodes. Cynthia, never Cynthia. Forget it. Cynthia. Emily, you know Emily Culver, right? Uh, Chris's assistant. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, I was uh, thinking about actresses. I know you, it was a sidetrack. <laughs> He's the one that texted me and was like, so she must have seen us talking about it. So if you're still on okay. it. Um, <laughs> any advice for Thank people you. who want to start acting? Do you have any? I get this a lot because like people, of course, and it's like, I don't know because everyone's got to figure out their own path and their own way of yeah. doing things. But I think like the first thing that people that are interested in acting is, is how much do you love it? Like, is it your passion? Yeah. Because if it's not your passion, don't even go down that road, but start like reading books and watching movies. And cause I feel like so much of it is like taking and st I hate to say stealing, but like you watch films and certain actors and you kind of rip apart and dissect how they did things and like reading yeah. Stanislavski and Stella Adler and like learning the different methods of acting. And then once you get to a point or if you're in LA, take acting classes or do nice. theater, like just immerse yourself in it. But then nice. it's like a broad strokes. But I think too, would you not agree with this? Is like, if you love something and you put yourself out there about it, like I want to do this. Like you know, me and you've been talking about directing, so we put it out there. Yeah. And things happen. Yeah. I think with acting or whatever it is you love, it's kind of the same thing. Like if you just put it out there and start taking steps in the right direction, doors mm -hmm. will open. Yep. Um, and kind of help you. They'll kind of direct you. I agree. You but, I agree. I feel like also it very much depends on where you live because yeah. I feel like Los Angeles is like the land of opportunities. It's it, it, although it's very hard because there is a lot of us, it's easier to put yourself out there. But I feel like if you're in Italy in a small town or like I don't know in Brazil or Portugal or France, I don't know, I don't know, in like a little town, maybe it's not as easy. So maybe since now our phones are such a um, yeah, easy way to communicate and put ourselves also while ourselves out there. Maybe that could be a, an outlet to express yourself, make a short film, put it out there. Um, yeah. And then study, read, as you said, read books and try maybe to travel and save your money and invest in like in doing a very good workshop somewhere else. And maybe that opens up some doors. I love that perspective too, because I had the privilege of being born and raised in Los Angeles. Mm. So I've never had the, I do, I think about that, like people I know that uprooted, like you, mm -hmm. <laughs> Alberto, and like people that uproot their entire lives right, from other countries mm -mm -mm. to come to LA and like all of your guys' family is outside yeah. of the country or outside of the state or, and it's such a huge sacrifice yeah. for something that like, you have to know that you're like, I'm giving Really this. want to do that. Yeah. yeah. And, like, that to me is something I always found so admirable because it's, like, 
like yeah like yes it's always tough no matter what like this industry yeah, is yeah. Tough, it's like, so I, tough yeah I could never have imagined doing it without knowing that like my family and my friends were all literally there bad. yeah it does give you like somehow it you can use it as a strength because it's so hard and so painful. It's so sad to be away from your family that I feel like dramatic scenes become very easy because oh. you're so in touch with the sadness. That's what I need. <laughs> no, you have got that. No, you I totally have, no, have that. that was, like my hardest thing when I started out acting, when I was like a kid is like, I was like, what do I have to cry? I'm about? so happy. <laughs> <laughs> no that's um yeah that's something yeah. I really admire though do you feel though in like like cities like say uh Sicily or if you were in another I mean Sicily's not Sicily's not small it's a it? region yeah, yeah it's okay it's a region so what yeah, yeah. you were in I w I'm from like I was born in Catania but I grew up in a place mm -hmm. called Belpaso which is tiny 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 place so no something like you said Belpaso Belpaso yeah Belpaso yeah no, something like Bel Paso, it, like, did they have, like, a like a local theater? Like, they did. They did? Yeah. Okay. But I was never part of No, what I did, I did school plays. I had this amazing teacher that organized crazy musical school plays at the end of the year. So I got to miss class because I had rehearsal for the play. Yeah. And I got to perform. So that was, that was my beginning. That's awesome. But in the yeah. school place. So you had the op. Well, it's nice that you have options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think you can always system. find an option. Yeah, 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 To an outlet. I feel like it, it's not necessarily something that allows you to go and, and make money um, out of it. But I feel like. How? <laughs> Neither <laughs> would you can come to LA and still not make money. <laughs> None. For a long Never. time. You struggle and everything costs so much here. <laughs> They're like, oh, you want headshots? Oh, you want an acting class? Five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like that's always, you always hear like successful actors like saying that you're like, actors do not get into it for the money. Because if you're getting no, the no, money, you're No, no, definitely. <laughs> and okay, the shocking thing about LA is that a coffee costs seven, a cappuccino costs seven dollars plus that's tip plus tax. I'm like, come on, people. This is insanity. But you gotta no. get, do you not have an espresso machine or like a percolator or something? I have like my little Bialetti, my little coffee maker and a little, yeah, Is that yeah, like yeah. the percolator one? Yes, the yes. super Italian looking one. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I learned that like from Alberto. That, like, Alberto. That, like, that's the one you have to have. I don't have yeah. that one. That's but I have like, a full on like fancy machine. Very nice. <laughs> But it pays for itself because you're right. Like to yeah. buy coffee in LA is insane. So you just insane. have to master making your own at home. Yeah. I see a lot of Brazilian flags. This There's a is lot amazing. Of Brazil. Brazil is like a huge fan of our show. I mean, we have fans all over, but I have to ask this one question because this is my best friend, Chris Harkins, who asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he says, what's a trendy Italian girl or boy name? Because they're um, uh, about to have a child, so. Oh my God. Okay. I, uh, it's hard. Andrea is really good because it's, like it's that. good if you have a girl that is a little tomboy and cool and it's also <laughs> good for a guy. <laughs> tomboy. tomboy. <laughs> and then I like cool and trendy. Ah, oh, geez. I don't know. Valentina is a good name. Is Valentina? Stella. Valentina. Ooh. Stella is a good Both one. Both of those. Valentina and Stella. Yeah. Chris, are you hearing this? I like both those names. I get a say. <laughs> <saying. laughs> um, what about a boy name? A boy name. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Luca is pretty good. Luca's nice. It's short. I'm thinking also about Ameri Americans saying it. Luca is pretty easy, two syllables. Do people butcher your name? Yeah. Really? <laughs> what Stephanie. Do they Stephania. Stephania. I could see people saying Stephanie because they're yeah. just very <laughs> stupid and say it. But what? They don't know how to, like, it's Stefania. I know. It is beautifully said. But, but why? Stephania. Stephania. Stephania happens a lot. What is people say Stephania? I can't, I can't disclose. <laughs> <laughs> the names of the people? There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you've had to go through that. Okay. Um, how did your audition go with Shondaland? Like, when did, so how long have you been on, on, in the Shondaland world now? How many years has it been? Three. That's it? I 
14 years. Three, no, it was in three years. No, it was amazing. I did the audition and I was the first one going in. And then the casting director was like, don't go back to Italy. And I was like, I'm not because I live here. But that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm not because I live here. I live here. <laughs> and um, then they call the the same afternoon. They pencil me, and then the morning after at nine, they confirm me. And then at two of that day, I was at the table read with the whole cast and Shonda, and I was like, freaking out. I was like, oh my god! Isn't that the worst. How nervous you get. Oh, the first table read we had for our show. I remember. Were you super like, nervous? Oh my god! Like beads of sweat. I was like in a, and I was in a leather wow. jacket because I was like, oh, that's what I would wear. Cool. So like, I had like the whole look, and I'm sweating, and I was so nervous. I was just like, don't just look at the script, say the lines, look at the script. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, I keep seeing so Brazilian like, flags. Sorry, I'm like no. distracted by the green and yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, it's There's so many Brazilian fans. We love Brazil. We have to say something in Portuguese. I only know the yeah, best yeah. stuff. I don't know Portuguese. Say some Portuguese. I know. You can scroll through and see if there's any um, anything or ask people to say some stuff in Portuguese. I've been to Portugal. Yes, I like Portugal a lot. And then I, I can only say the bad things in Portuguese, though. There's lots of flags here. Now look at everyone's doing their flags. flags. Oh. Is, that, is, that, is that? It's Canada. And I see Brazil what loves you. I love Brazil. And let's see. Ooh. I'm not well versed enough in all the flags to know. Same. Can you, you guys? When I you can't. The flag, also, they're can very small. Flag? They are very small. But when you put the flag, can you also put the country just to make sure we get it right? I don't want to be that ignorant <laughs> person that like says the wrong. I think I know what they are, but I also don't want to be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be. Yes, I like, know. It's like, oh, it's hey. good one. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> America. It's Mexico. Mexico. Is that Mexico? I I think the one with the, the I, they're so one? tiny. I know. Italy. No. Which one's Italy? Uh, verde, verde, bianco, oh, right rosa. There. Oh, wait, that's Jamaica. Lemon. Yes, guys, this is great. So, I am a fojo. I do love fojo. It's so good. The, the, wait, the what? Dance. I'm just listening. <laughs> I it came up. Okay, in, Brazil, in Portuguese, I can say cala, ho, cala, cala hopa, no, cala boca chira hopa. What's that mean? I think, I think it's like, take your clothes off and shut up. <laughs> cala boca chira hopa, I think, I think. Is she saying it right? First of all, Am I saying that right? Is she saying it right? That knows okay. Portuguese. And second of all, why do you know that, Stefania? Uh, because it's the, I went to Brazil a long time ago. <laughs> And let's, I also learned Quiero Namorado Moreno Brasileiro e do Boppy. Just because I, uh, I watched City of God and I was obsessed with Wagner Moura and okay. Elite Squad, but I don't. And what does that mean, though? Do you know what that it's like means? I want a Brazilian boyfriend that is dark and from this, like, police organization called Boppy. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I'm, I, I don't want that anymore. <laughs> The boppy thing is a little bit too I violent. I love that so much. How old were you when you were like totally into that movie? It was about 10 years ago. 10, 12 years ago. I love it. <laughs> God, I wish I had known you then. Like, it's amazing what? to know you now, but like, I just feel like that would have been fun. Yes, it would have. Okay, let's wrap this up. Should we do a yep. last question? Please. Someone said here, Danielle, I'll answer this one. What was your reaction when you heard you were gonna uh, going to couple up with Stefania? I was so excited. You I was so excited because I'd also heard so much about you and so many amazing things about you. And because Aww. of Alberto and like, I don't know, I just, and met, I, we hadn't like met Matt, but like met in passing, I think. Yes, very briefly. And you were like so sweet. And I was like, yes, I'm so excited about this. I think the only thing I was nervous about is I was like, damn, she's so fucking hot. Oh, stop it, please. You're silly. It's true. Isn't it Thank true, you. everyone? It's true. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. I'll see if there's one uh, good last, last question to end on. Speak um, Spanish, please, Argentina. Eh, puedo, uh, hablo español poco y mal, pero entiendo casi todo. Entonces, hola Argentina. Hola Argentina. Sí. Hello. 
something. What is Argentina. 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 Oh, Argentina. That's just Cantian. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's a lot of like, yeah. Oh, this is always hard. Favorite things. Let's see. They're hard. Oh, here we go. This is what we'll end on. It's a very common question. I feel like actors get a lot, but I okay. want to know your answer. Okay. If, if you, you could, could ask, uh, you do instead. Who? <laughs> that's a great answer. About it. <laughs> I think that's an amazing answer. I think that's a great profession. I think a lot of people would agree that's something they'd want to do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay direct direct <gasps> i love that yes. yes which you will do on top of acting exactly i love that and you too what about you um if i took like a whole like right turn and did something completely outside of the entertainment world i would, yes. I would be a, i would be a lawyer wow i want yes, to be a lawyer you wanted to be a lawyer mm-hmm i do, where did you just like law or did you like like what about it did um you like when I was a kid, I watched a few good men, and I was like, this is what I want to do. I want yeah. to save the you world by doing that. You can't handle the truth. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of good law shows. I just like law. I like, nice. like love like, the books on law. I'm a weird oh, amazing. Guy. Yeah. But anyways. Okay. You have been the hottest cool. lawyer <laughs> <laughs> in court. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love you. Okay, my um, hair is officially... I need a haircut, but I can't go. No, let so it grow. This is the Amazing. wilderness. You look like the a wilderness. hot, sexy lady. <laughs> look at this. Crazy. Oh, la ma uh, uh, Donna. 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 Oh, Donna. ragazzi. Donna is Oh, because I learned, like, porta and compa. Compra? Like, yeah. Porta. It's a brand. Vestito. Porta vestito. Donna porta des- vestito. Like a woman si. wears the dress? Sure. I'm, I'm so missing weird. the words in the middle. I'm no, missing, it's, like... It's right, it's right, it's right, it's correct. <laughs> La donna porta el vestito. I love this stuff that, that these courses make you learn. You're like, why, why would I say that? <laughs> okay. You've got to start with the basic stuff, I guess. You, you're right. Next time I'll be much better, I promise. Uh, no, um, you're great. I'm going to be supportive. You're going to be what? Supportive? See. Si. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... Okay, let's do this. I'm going to go Anyways. eat potatoes and broccoli. Go eat some potatoes and broccoli. I'm so happy I got to see your beautiful face. Thank you for joining. And Me I'm glad too. I got you to do an Instagram live. And thank you. Anytime. I loved it. <laughs> okay. I love you. Ciao, and Bella. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Bye.